Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, August 26, 2016. This week, how to use spill frames in Photoshop and Elements. At Designer Digital's, Katie Pertit offers sets of beautiful layered frames that give the effect of painted photos spilling out of frames. These spill frames make it easy to give your project an artistic flair in just a few quick steps. Using these products, your project becomes a work of art with the look of complex design techniques. Here's how to use spill frames on your own digital project. Begin by opening a spill frame of your choice and a digital photo and a scrapbook background in Photoshop or Elements. Set your workspace so that you can see all of the documents at the same time. In Photoshop, you'll choose Window, Arrange, Float All in Windows. In Elements, choose Window, Images, Float All in Windows. Select the Spill Frame document. You can just drag by the title bar to select the document. The spill frames generally have two layers. They'll have a frame layer and a paint layer. Click the top layer in the Layers panel at the bottom right corner of the screen and hold the Shift key to select the bottom layer. This will select all of the layers top to bottom. Alternatively, you can Control click or on a Mac system command click each of the layers to select them. Now get the Move tool and drag the layers directly from the Layers panel onto your scrapbook document. Now I'm going to minimize the Spill Frame Layers document since we've already used it. To attach your own photo to the Spill Frame, get the Move tool and select the Paint layer in the Layers panel. It's usually labeled Paint Clip to Photo. Next, drag the photo onto the Layered Frame document. The photo should be large enough to cover the paint layer completely. If necessary, select the photo layer and press Ctrl T or on a Mac system Command T on your keyboard. This reveals the bounding box around the photo layer. You can drag the corner handles out to resize the photo until it's large enough to cover the spill frame paint layer. In Photoshop, hold the Shift key as you drag to maintain the aspect ratio and avoid the funhouse effect. In Photoshop Elements, in the later versions, you don't need to hold the Shift key. In the Layers panel, make sure that your photo has come in one spot above the layer that you're covering. So it needs to be one spot above the Paint Clip to Photo layer. You can drag the layer up and down the Layers panel if you need to reposition it. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the photo document since we've already used the photo and we'll just work on the frame and the scrapbook background now. With the photo layer selected, in Photoshop, press Alt-Ctrl-G. On a Mac system, that's Option-Command-G. If you're working in Elements, select the photo layer and press Ctrl-G or on a Mac system, Command-G. On your document, the photo now takes on the shape of the paint layer. You can blend the photo into the background by changing the blending mode of the paint layer, not of the photo layer. Just select the paint layer and choose a blending mode above the layers panel. The default is set to normal, but you could try something like multiply or linear burn to blend your photo into the background. For this document, I'm going to choose multiply. You can also reduce the opacity of the paint layer slightly to let the background show through a little bit. You'll get the best results using a neutral background to blend. To resize the spill frame, you can Control click or on a Mac system command click the frame, the photo, and the paint layer to select all three. With all three selected, click the link icon in the layers panel. This makes the three work together as a group so that they can be resized or moved or tilted. Get the Move tool and in the Options bar, make sure that Auto Select Layer is on and Show Transform Controls is ticked. In Elements, this is called Show Bounding Box. You'll see a box that now surrounds the embellishments. 
Move your cursor to a corner of the box and drag toward the center of the image to make it smaller, or away from the center to make it larger. In some versions of the software, you need to hold the shift key as you drag to resize with maintaining the aspect ratio. If you're getting a distorted funhouse effect, remember to hold the shift key as you drag. As long as the layers are linked, the layers will resize and move and turn together. Using spill frames is a great way to get the effect of painted photos spilling out of your frames without doing the complex design techniques yourself. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.